I'm NASA Kennedy's Hedo Miranda, and I'm Outside Casey, taking you Inside Casey. NASA's Orion Program Manager, Katherine Kerner, along with KSC Senior Managers from Orion, Lockheed Martin, and EGS recently visited Kennedy Space Center. They toured the Neil Armstrong Operations and Checkout Building High Bay, where they viewed Orion spacecraft for the Artemis 1 and 2 missions. They also toured the Multi-Payload Processing Facility and the Launch Abort System Facility, where hardware for Artemis 1 and 2 are being processed. The senior leaders also took time to thank the teams from the European Space Agency, Airbus, NASA, and Lockheed Martin, who recently completed a major milestone, installation of the solar array wings on the European service module for Artemis 1. Artemis 1 is the first in a series of increasingly complex missions to the moon that will ultimately lead to the exploration of Mars. Engineers and technicians are completing assembly work inside the space station processing facility on flight hardware for the mass spectrometer observing lunar operations. M-Solo is a commercial off-the-shelf mass spectrometer modified to work in space and will be an instrument on the agency's first mission as part of the commercial lunar payload services. M-Solo will launch aboard a lander delivery to explore Lacus Mortis, a large crater on the near side of the moon in 2021. NASA is working with U.S. companies to regularly send instruments, experiments, and small payloads to the moon's surface through this program. For more Inside KC, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov Kennedy.